Hi, we are going to show you how to use the profiling tools to measure the performance of your applications. If you cannot measure your application's performance, you cannot improve it. So, profiling tools is very important for performance tuning purpose. We will create a project with a blank activity now. Um, the application name is profiling. Next, 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 next. Okay, so now we have a blank activity and we will open activity main.xml and then replace the layout with our layout with just one append button okay let's switch to main activity since we have a button now we will add our code here to add uh, on click listener for the buttons when the user click on that buttons it will call a uh, append string functions so uh, this append string functions will uh, append the string for 10,000 times so uh, we prepared it two method. The first method is the string concatenation method. It will just concatenate the string for ten thousand times. While the second method use the string buffers to append the string for ten thousand times. They will have the same results. But um, if you're familiar with Java, you know that the first method is a bad idea and all of the textbook will prefer the second method that is using the string buffer to do the same job uh, but how bad it is um, so now we are going to find it out by using the profiling tools okay first of all run the applications using the emulators And this is our application. Normally, when you pass the append button using the first method, you have to wait for a few seconds. So uh, now we are going to measure the performance of this behavior. So we we'll go to the DDMS perspective. If you do not have the DDMS perspective, you can press the uh, uh, open perspective button to add the DDMS perspective so um, first of all select our process and then press the start method profiling buttons not the stop buttons start method profiling buttons and then we will do the job again and after some seconds it will be finished and you just press stop method profiling button actually it's the same buttons you just stop it and the trace file will be generated for you so you can analyze the performance of your application by using this trace file at the top we have a graphical view and at the top left we have the thread um, we have the timeline here and here is the CPU consumptions we can see the main thread consumptions and the GC thread consumption here at the bottom we have a table view The zero top level means your applications is you one hundred percent of the CPU time and and you can look at the CPU time per call is about three hundred and seventy something.
Okay, let's drill down. And you see that the start GC methods consume about 28% of your total CPU times, which is not a good sign as the start GC is something about the garbage collections, it's about the internal memory management issues. It seems that there is a performance bottleneck here because of the um, garbage collection, but we are not sure for now. Okay, let's switch back to our main activity. We will using the second method now. We're using string buffer instead of st string concatenations. Okay, let's run the application again. Pass the append button again, we immediately get the results. So we now measure the performance of this method. Okay, first of all, start the method profiling. Pass the button. And then stop method profiling. and then the second trace file is generated okay um, you see that the GC thread is now disappeared it means that uh, there is no GC collections here and for the table field and you can not find the uh, GC start GC method for now so this is good it seems that our performance bottleness problem is resolved okay Let's look at the CPU time per core. This is for the for the first method is three hundred something, and for the second method is um is about sixty six. So it's a great improvement. You can use this profiling tools for your own applications find out the potential problem, measure the performance, and then improve it. Thanks for watching.